Yeah, so I did this the first time I taught the class, mostly because that's just the only way I know how to teach. And I wanted to do something that I thought would be an authentic experience for the students that would inspire them to actually learn statistics. I couldn't imagine myself standing up in front of the classroom at the blackboard just writing down equations and having students copy them. I know from my experience as an undergraduate, that didn't work for me. I didn't learn statistics that way. I might have gotten an A in my class, but you know, a year later I didn't remember anything. And I wanted to make this an experience that the students not, ju not only just remembered the experience and had a positive experience interacting with the community, but they also remembered their course content. And the more authentic an experience a student has with a project, the more likely it is that they're going to remember the content from the course as well. I went to the Center for Service Learning and pitched them this idea that we could do service learning in my biostatistics class by teaming students up with groups of nonprofits that had data that hadn't been analyzed, either because they didn't have the, um, the expertise in-house or they didn't have the funding to be able to hire somebody to do it. And just from being in the community of environmental scientists in the region, I know that there's a lot of groups that fall under this category. And I, so I pitched the idea to them and they thought it was a really good idea. So as I thought about how this would actually work in the classroom, I realized that the students needed to be taken through the process of how to go about analyzing data, how to go about um, tackling a whole project. So I designed the course so that it would be process oriented, so the students would learn the concepts in the order in which they would apply them in a real situation. And so they went from tackling how to assess the data to how do you develop a hypothesis that fits the data that you have that is actually testable to then actually applying the statistical test. And that may not be the order in which you would teach it if you were teaching a content-oriented class. And so by taking the students through the quarter, through that process of first you do step one, then you do step two, then you do step three, they learn that over the course of um, about seven weeks so that um, so that after they had been through that process, they were able to get their data from their partners and then repeat that process on a real data set. 